want to congratulate General Mosque Gaba, the new CDF, for rationalizing the parade. making it shorter and you the politicians of land talking endlessly about nothing <laughs> the, I want to congratulate the army Instead of the parade staying there the whole day standing, now they have done their work and they have gone. So I want to congratulate Jeno Mohozi for bringing that rationality. The old parade, we got it from our brothers, but it is time to reform them. I congratulate them. Muriye Mutie. Muriye Mutie, Habari, Nyenyi wa Wasania na wa Kenya, na wa Sarmia. Our distinguished guests are still celebrating this 62 years of our independence. Many Ugandans, the majority of the Ugandans, are happy because of what we have seen going on from the time we got independence, yes, we shall not say that everything was smooth, but well, the most important thing is that on the 9th of October 1962, we got independence. We appreciate that people took us on that road to independence. That includes the late Jesus Musazi and his team, the Uganda National Union, who went ahead and agitated for independence, and the slogan was self governance now. That was 1952. But when I look back, and I see what went on. Yes, we got independence finally in 1962. But it looked like we did not even know what to do with it because we continued with the system of our colonizers. We continued with the education system because they are actually stifled our African education system. We continued with their security system. But later on, His Excellency Yoweri Kabuta Museveni analyzed the situation and saw that Uganda would never develop unless we did something about real colonialism. 
the education system was for the interests, was in the interests of the colonizers. Therefore, today, we have a new curriculum. There is an emphasis on science and technology and innovation so that you can also have the competitive spirit. During the colonial period, we provided raw materials for their industries and they would take the raw materials which they had actually forced on as cotton, coffee, tobacco for their industries back home and then for us who would buy their finished goods which were even more expensive. Today, we are talking about agro-industrialization, value addition, so that even when we are exporting, we export not raw materials, but finished goods. So that is how far we have gone. In their security system, the colonizers used to recruit people from the same region whom they thought were strong. But today, when there is a recruitment exercise, it's nationwide. So that the people you see there, the police, UPDF and prisons come from all over Uganda. And the, the colonial system introduced indirect rule whereby some people from one region would go and enforce um, their rule on other people in the country. That one caused a lot of sectarianism and maybe hatred. And there was also the religious sectarianism, which the national resistance movement, the under His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, is trying to remove. Now we are talking of industrialization, ICT, we are talking about uh, digital transformation. Really, we have gone very far. The road network, the, the airlines, we had only Entebbe International Airport. Now, because of the, the oil city, the oil that has been uh, discovered and now we are, is being worked on in, uh, in Uganda, we are now yes, getting another international airport, Kavarega International Airport. We have really moved. Thank you, Madam Wanguzi. This is just His Excellency, the President, is now on the last leg of the inspection. He's been invited to inspect the band, and thereafter, we shall have the hoisting of the national flag. A repeat of the event of 9th October. 